Hey folks, welcome to Concept. Today we will learn to identify seasonal trends in some sectors, in some indices, and in some stocks. So, within we will use very simple logic of uh, you know how a particular sector has been behaving in the past in a particular season. So, we will try to identify such sectors and such stocks, and eventually we are expecting the same kind of performance to play out in this particular year as well. So they say in the market, the history, it repeats. So whatever has happened in the past, we will try to form a bias based on that and eventually we will try to identify such seasonal trends out there in the market. So wherein we will not use a lot of complex analysis. Instead, we will take price as uh, the sole indicator to identify and to go ahead and build a system. So we will use the analytic of uh, seasonality and we will go to price seasonality. So again to repeat what I'm trying to find over here is I'm trying to find out which are the sectors which are seasonal in a particular uh, month and then eventually I will try to narrow it down to the stocks. Now first of all I'll just explain the seasonality tool over here. So if you place your cursor anywhere on this graph so it will show us on a particular month how much percentage return the selected instrument provided. That means if everything started from 1000, in 2023 Nifty was down by 2.2%, in 2022 Nifty was down by 0.3%, 2021 negative by 2%, 2022 also negative by 2%. So eventually what you can observe by looking at this is historically in last 5 years it has been observed that in month of January Nifty hasn't performed quite well. Okay, it remains marginally negative to neutral okay so you are not getting to see a lot of positive moves happening in nifty in month of january second thing if you see in month of feb 2 except 2021 you'll you'll hardly see any positive moves which are happening in 2019 see the the heat readers quantsap has simplified option trading analytics for you Click the link in the description box below complete your sign up process and access the most advanced option analytical tools in the entire industry thank you positive move is just marginal it is nothing it's absolutely flat but if you see except 2021 all the months all the february months the nifty has been negative in last five years we can have a look on the data up to last 22 years but i'm not really concerned about what has happened for last 22 years instead i am more focused towards what has been happening in the recent most data so the recent most data would be anywhere between three to five years. Okay, you can select three, you can select four or you can select five. Okay, so now this is how I will simply move my cursor and then, then I'll get to know in a particular month if Nifty outperforms or underperforms. Okay, so if you just toggle around to the tabular view, we will get to see the same data in a tabular format, which is much more easier and much more simpler to read. So if you see 2023 down by uh, two percentage and the same data is eventually presented over here. The monthly average you can see that as well so what you can conclude out of this data is that these three months january february and march they have not been providing good positive returns in nifty right in january nifty was down by uh, 1.4 percentage in feb also average monthly average i'm talking about it was down by 1.2 percentage and in march also it was down by no, roughly around 1.9 percentage but even if you leave march as an exception because of 2020 there might be some negative you know negative uh, monthly average because there was a sharp and very big downfall happening in nifty because of covid but still if you see the first two months those would be typical months wherein you would like to invest more on more towards nifty because you know those are more like negative months so i'm talking about now more like uh, the investment perspective so these are the months where we can try to tackle around. Now, when is Nifty actually positive? From 2020 onwards, if you see, in month of July, it has been providing good returns. In month of August, this time it couldn't provide good returns, but elsewhere, if you see, it has been providing good returns in month of August. Same thing can be done with Bank Nifty also. So let's say Bank Nifty. So now, again, if you see, more or less it has been positive in month of august till this till uh, 
2022 but this year it slipped but which will happen right which will happen it will not be a 100% game but still august september october are the months where actually the monthly average if you see it has been showing some positive moves if you see october bank nifty in last 5 years it has not even provided one negative returns right so this is how we can easily filter out the favorable uh, months for our indices now the same thing can be applied towards sectors as well now obviously there would be 200 plus fno scripts so we can't go ahead and analyze uh, stock by stock right the seasonality so what we will do we will try to identify some seasonal trend con consistencies in the sector right so let's say i'll now look at the data of last 3 years okay now what i can make out is or let's say four years okay so i can see that pharma in month of september has provided good returns right this year it is negative but still we are still on 5th of september so you know and if you see most probably the july month right so pharma we have seen good up moves on 2020 2021 2022 what happened in 2023 again a positive up move happened in pharma in month of uh, in month of july on 2023 so what we can do is actually we can go ahead and filter out some uh, sectors so see power sector 2020 21 22 and 23 all the sectors positive right all the months positive of august of power sector right so this is how we can easily filter out some of the sectors and then eventually come down to price and narrow it down to some of the stocks from that sector so let's say if i want to see power let me check power if tata power has some seasonal trend consistency see again it was been positive again what happened in month of 2023 uh, in month of august it was also positive similarly the same thing happened uh, in july as well tata power consistently positive in month of july what happened in 2023 again it was positive so now the idea is simple that what we will do is we will do this analysis by uh, every starting of the month we will filter out some sectors we will narrow down to some stocks and eventually we will sharpen our trade idea using some other analytics such as belt up such as options open interest data such as technical charts so seasonality is a great starting point for us to identify a seasonal trend if it exists right and if the trend exists we can obviously go ahead and sharpen our trades much more better using uh, some sort of analytics apart from seasonality so that was it from this video thank you so much for staying tuned uh, along with me up till here and do check out the link in the description box below and do unlock the seasonality tool